Armando Sergio and Baljay Medicine in the videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the Forever Group for the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasudigan. Let's talk about the cell cycle. The cell cycle um, is defined as the stages through which a cell passes from one cell division to the next. It, so it's the stages of which the cell grows and prepares for division. And when the cell divides, it divides into two identical cells. This is the cell cycle. To understand the cell cycle, we must remember what a cell is and what we find in the cell. So here is a cell and its membrane. A cell, the cells are living structures that essentially make up organisms like ourselves. Within a cell, we find the nucleus, which is the main base of the cell, you can say. Around the nucleus, we find the rough endoplasmic reticulum. We also have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which I have not drawn. Um, the surrounding area outside the nucleus is known as a cytoplasm. Uh, the cytoplasm contains many cell organelles, such as the mitochondria, um, which is the cell's powerhouse. It makes ATP. And also, there's Golgi, which I haven't drawn. Um, but the main thing to take out of this is that in the cytoplasm, we also find centrosomes. Centrosomes are important in, uh, in cell division because it actually helps in separating the cells with its microtubules. Now, within the nucleus, the main base of the cell, we find our genetic material. The genetic material is DNA, right? But the DNA is packaged up to form chromosomes. So here is one chromosome. This particular chromosome is made up of two chromatids. Here is another chromosome with two chromatids. So here I drew essentially one pair of chromosomes, or two chromosomes. Humans actually have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which means that we have 46 chromosomes, because 23 times 2 is 46. Now within these chromosomes, we have, if we zoom in, we have these proteins called histones, which actually help package uh, our long DNA very nicely. So here is our DNA wrapping around the histones, which make up the chromosome. Now this is important to understand that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which means 46 chromosomes. Keep that in mind. Most of, our, most of the cells in our body divide continuously, such as our skin, the skin, the skin cells, the lining of our gut for, as well. Um, some cells divide faster than others. Some don't divide at all, like mature red blood cells. Anyways, cells have to divide to replenish old ones or injured ones. The, cell, the cycle, the actual cycle through which it prepares for division and actually divides into two daughter cells, two identical cells, is known as the cell cycle. The cell cycle is divided into two main phases, the interphase, which prepares the cell for division, and then the M phase, where division, the, the division process actually occurs. The division process is known as mitosis. Let's look at the interphase uh, interphase phase first, which prepares the cell for division. So at the beginning of interphase, we have a one daughter cell. Let's zoom into the genetic material. This cell also consists of chromosomes. This chromosome only has one chromatid. So if you remember to what I drew here, this chromosome had two chromatids. Either way, this cell still has 23 pairs of chromosomes. It just has one chromatid, which means that it also has, 
which means that there are um, this cell has 46 chromosomes with 46 chromatids. Anyway, the interphase can be divided into three stages. The first stage is growth 1, or G1. The second is synthesis, or S. And then growth 2, which is G2. This daughter cell will enter the G1 phase, which um, actually uh, the duration of this phase is about 10 hours. And this is where we have the cellular content excluding this, the chromosomes are duplicating. So essentially the organelles are duplicating. However, the chromosomes are not. And so this cell, at the end of G1, if we zoom into the genetic material, it will still have 46 chromosomes and 46 chromatids. Or we can say it has 23 pairs of chromosomes. And then this cell will enter the S phase, which goes on for about 9 hours. And in the S phase, this cell will actually have DNA replication and chromosome duplication. So here, in the S, at the end of the S phase, this cell will have duplicated chromosomes, as you can see by the diagram. So if we zoom into the genetic material of this cell, it would look quite different. It would still have this, sorry, this is still one chromosome. And so this cell will still have 23 pairs of chromosomes. It will just have double the chromatids, which means that the cell at the end of S phase will have 46 chromosomes, but it will have 92 chromatids. And this is because the chromosomes have duplicated. It doesn't mean the chromosomes are double in number. Hope that makes sense. Now, after the synthesis uh, stage, the cell will go on to growth 2, which goes on for about 4 hours, and this is where the, where the cell grows and prepares for mitosis. And it also checks for errors as well. And essentially, at the end of the G2 phase, the cell will still have 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. And then afterwards, the cell will enter the M phase. It will enter mitosis, where it divides into two daughter cells. And as you can see, the cell divides into two daughter cells, and the chromosomes only contains one chromatid, not two chromatids again. I hope that makes sense. But, it's, but it will end up each having still tw uh, 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs of chromosomes. Anyway, we'll look into more detail on that. Now, during the interphase, before uh, cell division, before mitosis, uh, during the interphase, there are two checkpoint areas where the cell will check for errors in the DNA, etc. So, these checkpoint areas occur at the, before the end of G1 and before the end of G2. So when this cell enters the first checkpoint, which is called the G1 checkpoint, the cell will check that nutrients are sufficient, that growth factors are present, that the cell size is adequate, and that there is no DNA damage. Once all this is okay, the cell can enter the synthesis phase, where it will have DNA replication, etc. And then the cell will enter the G2 phase. But before finishing the G2 phase, there's another checkpoint called the G2 checkpoint, where the cell will check if chromosome replication is complete and that there is no DNA damage. And once that's okay, the cell will enter the M phase. It will enter mitosis, where the cell with 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids will divide to produce two daughter cells, two identical cells, with 46 chromosomes and 46 chromatids each. Now, these daughter cells, they don't have to enter uh, 
the growth phase straight away and then the synthesis phase, they can actually go into a cell arrest where they just uh, stick, uh, stay around. And this phase is known as the um, G0 phase, where the cell cycle um, doesn't really do anything, arrest. Of course, after a while, it will enter the growth 1 phase, the synthesis phase, and then the G2 phase, where it will then enter mitos mitosis, and then it will produce two identical cells again. Mitosis in itself um, has a few phases within it. Mitosis goes on for about an hour. It can be divided into four main phases, mitosis. The first phase is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and then chelophase. The final phase is not actually part of mitosis, and it is called cytokinesis. This is where, uh, this is the process of where the cell actually divides and separates, like so. Let's learn a bit more about mitosis and what occurs within each of these phases.